I think I'll benefit from the Industrial Revolution by being able to hire my education skills and math skills in specific, um, also by learning job skills. Yes, nothing but positive comes from this. Um, I think I'll benefit from this program because we're going to meet like a lot of different companies and jobs out there. And I think that's great networking to see like maybe if I'm interested in that job so I can, you know, ask for cards or questions and then I'll get to know the companies and maybe they'll hire me. I think I'll benefit from this program because I I think it's a work, great work experience. I think I'll benefit from this program because it's helped me in my long run since I want to get into the business field. So it just gives me a chance of seeing how different businesses operate and what they do on a daily basis. I'll benefit from this program by learning different work experiences and also networking throughout the community. More job experience and um, being, you know, getting, being ready for, you know, getting an, a job right after this and uh, also being able to help my mom and dad out with a couple, like with the bills and all that. Definitely the process helped me to test my inner strengths of, of how I go about pursuing jobs. Economically, um, it's hard for me to find a job in my field as a pharmacy technician and maybe this will teach me how to conduct myself more in a, you know, business manner. The jobs and careers that this program will help me visit will describe in like vivid detail on how to get in there. It's made me open up my like my mind of like what else is out there besides the job I'm looking for. If I wasn't in this program, I would probably right now still be asleep. Uh, most of today is gonna be more of getting to know you guys. Um, you're getting to know each other, you're gonna be spending a lot of time together pretty much all day, every day through the month of June. The pieces of paper that I handed you, what we're gonna do is you're gonna have three things on there you're gonna write down about yourselves, okay? We will write down three things. With those three things, I, you need to write down two things that are true and a third that's false. No particular order. You can have the first one false, second one false, or a third one false. But two of them need to be true, one of them needs to be false. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. Raise your hand if you think he's lying about being loyal. He is this loyal, decidedly. <laughs> 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 The most surprising thing I learned so far would have to be probably when we went to Penrose yesterday and we learned about uh, Spike and how much the machine costs. And Spike is a doll that they use to uh, teach the people that come in to learn about, you know, health and stuff like that, the doctors. And it has like a pulse and it breathes and talks and all that. It's, it's almost real. Nurses, they use that for training and they can inject things in the body and practice on that dummy and also it speaks and it has a pulse and it breathes. Yeah, I, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, we got to pit on the stethoscope. Uh, we got to hear, uh, hear it breathe through the um, stethoscope and um, feel different pulses in its arm and leg. They have these rubbery parts on some of the bodies, like on the legs and the arms. They, they can practice, for instance, like giving shots and all that. That way they're not messing up when it's, uh, they have to do it for real. And I think that that's a good way to like check like CPR or like heartbeats or something like that. He kind of freaked me out, <laughs> but um, it, it taught me, you know, like, you know, knowing that they're getting, you know, 
trained easier and they're having to, to like practice on something and I, now I know like that they have more training for that so uh, what I thought was cool about Spike was that he could talk oh my god look at these spiders they're everywhere and not only talk he actually had like normal bodily functions like a heartbeat Spike freaked me out a little bit <laughs> yeah <laughs> um Spike was pretty crazy how it moved and just how you can actually hear the breath and it's pretty crazy looking. It's pretty cool because it had machinery and responded to different things that they did to it and um, had a pulse. Yeah. It was very sophisticated. We learned about some of the newer technologies like um, something called a cyber knife which I, if I remember correctly is used to like cure cancer and some tumors and also about something called a da Vinci, which is like something you can use to perform surgeries, but without actually having to do it like hands-on, you use this robot by putting your fingers into this thing and you can grab stuff and cut stuff with all that. And like, they even showed you through a video, like how if with a regular person doing it, the camera's like always shaking and sore, like it's really hard to cut and all that. Whereas with the da Vinci, the camera stays still and they could cut a lot smoother and a lot easier without hitting anything else. Um, what I learned at Penrose was that I'm more interested in the medical field than I thought I was. Um, previously, before Penrose, I wasn't able to like look at anything gory or any kind of blood. But you know, what intrigued me was the um, robot, the Da Vinci um, instrument, and um, it, I actually looked at it because I wanted to see what was going on. And you know, it's it's. I mean, I'm pursuing pharmacology, so. Um, the medical, it is the medical field, so, you know, it's the area of my interest, but it, I'm more comfortable with seeing blood now, I guess. <laughs> um, up at Penrose, I think the coolest part was probably seeing the cyber light, or cyber knife, seeing how that worked, and I thought that was pretty cool, seeing how big it actually was. I'm going to start it up, so you guys don't have to worry about being x-rayed or anything like that, but it can actually go through a demonstration on how it moves. I think cyber knife is pretty cool. Um, it um, scans your head, shows uh, where all the tumors are at in your head, and I think to the, uh, to the rest of your body. What I think was cool about the cyber knife is how uh, they took uh, automotive technology and transferred it over to the medical field and just uh, change the head to scan with x-rays instead of putting the screwdriver or something on there. I've actually never seen a jail cell from, actually, if we go back there, I would like to see one though, see what people actually live uh, like. Just go inside. <laughs> There's more cells, so. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get locked in a different one, man. Really don't know much what they do in the station. Probably a little tips and tricks that they do, how they catch people, like, say, a DUI, like, little things like they do, that's what they look for. Probably how they do their business, like, what's a normal day for a police officer. Hopefully not to go to jail. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I, I'll find out, but I think it'll be interesting to see what it's like. You know, a lot more behind-the-scenes stuff that I don't have any idea about. I'm not that excited about going to the police station, but just I learned just what they do on a daily basis and why they do some of the things they do. It's made me open up my like my mind of like what else is out there besides the job I'm looking for. I'm, I'm very excited to learn more. <laughs> I'm just grateful that they called me back and I have this opportunity to embrace this awesome program. I probably never would have seen none of that stuff if I would have joined this program and program like. It takes me. It, it takes us to a place where we never seen, and all that stuff. I never, never even knew we had any of that. So yeah. I think it was a good experience to learn about it. Yeah.